Okay, Adam, I have been following your directions for hours, yeah. and I do not really know where we are. Okay, we are in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and the facility we're going to makes and tests breakthrough medical imaging hardware. What are they imaging, exactly? The inside of us, apparently. Ooh. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Welcome to GE Healthcare. Thank you. We're going to show you our next generation CT machine, the Revolution CT, which takes incredible images at incredibly quick speeds. And uh, best of all, from your point of view, we're going to have you take a look under the hood and see what makes it tick. So help me understand, because I don't actually know, what is the difference between an MRI and a CT? CT is based on x-ray. And MR, there's a big magnet. Okay. So for CT, it's like X-ray, 3D X-ray. Okay. So here we are at Bay 47, and this is where we test a finished machine before we send it out to a hospital. Man. Wow. This is a big piece of machinery here. Look at yeah. this. Is this uh, espresso, cappuccino, <laughs> yeah, macchiato? <laughs> <laughs> the real beauty is underneath the hood. So you catch it underneath okay. and pull it right back. Oh. oh. It's like an 18-wheeler. <laughs> Look at that. So up here is the x-ray, mm -hmm. and right across from it is a detector. This is a heat exchanger. This is the generator. And all of this is rotating around the patient. Oh, wow. Is that why it's called a revolution? Is because it's revolutionary and it makes a re Oh, exactly. I just got that right now. <laughs> Now it shoots an x-ray through your body and onto the detector plate? Correct, so yeah. So what's interesting about your detector plate? What's new? So in contrast to other machines, this detector is 16 centimeters across. So let me understand this. Previous CT scans would scan what, like four centimeters? Mm -hmm. Is that like this much of the heart? Yeah. Yeah, and then what does this do? So now we've expanded it so you're covering the whole heart in one rotation. How fast does this spin when it's operating? So it rotates around four times a second. It's incredible. It's around 2,800 pounds, the size of a small car. You're trying to take a thousand images in one rotation, and those images come out perfectly. It's, the feat of engineering is just phenomenal when you consider that. What does this mean for patients? That means less time on the scanner, especially for pediatric patients who are squirmy or, you know, want to get out of the hospital. Speaking of, of pediatrics, I really want to show you something which I think is a game changer. Absolutely, let's okay. do it. So as you can see, this is an image of a pediatric heart and you can kind of rotate around to see the different oh, parts. Oh, no way. And now what are you looking for when you're looking at a heart scan like this? You're looking for the blood flow to make sure uh, the vessels aren't included. Um, for pediatrics, there could be anomalies, any defects. I can imagine this is completely invaluable for a physician to be able to see. Mm -hmm. And the best part is not only can you see the 3D image graphically, but um, here we actually no. have well. wow. a 3D printed heart <gasps> from the CT images. So this is actually the heart of a four-month-old. Um, and you'll see <gasps> it's in layers, so you can kind of peel back. You are kidding me. So it's not only getting the surface kind of topography, right. but also internally the structure of the heart? Correct. That's incredible. I had, yeah. This is mind-blowing. It's, it's heart-blowing. <laughs> Before this technology was available, if your child was going for surgery, the first yeah. time your doctor might see your child's heart would be when they're inside surgery. Now you don't need to do that. Also, for uh, implants, you could be scanning and printing pieces custom-built for our bodies. Exactly. Like, clearly this kid's eating too much junk food, though. <laughs> this is totally amazing, and what I want to know is, can we scan something? Yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> so here we are. Here's our anthropomorphic-based uh, phantoms, polyurethane and uh, epoxy resin. These are the phantoms that we use to test the system. Wait a minute. Oh, no way! So taped on there are uh, what simulates lung nodules, oh. spheres oh. of different sizes and densities. This is we're looking for cancer. Yeah. Right. So can we scan these? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Choose whichever one you want. The head. No, torso. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> High five. There we go. <laughs> 
Can I push the button? <laughs> oh, sorry. Wow. Oh my gosh. Is that it? It's gone. It was that, it that's was that fast? So fast? I literally blinked and I was <laughs> And here are the images. And that's it. And that's it. That's the image. Unbelievable. It looks like an artistic rendering. It yeah, doesn't it look like it is. could possibly be real. So this is how we've done the torso. But now we're going to do the head. We're going to lift the covers open so you can see what happens on the inside. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Very cool. OK, I'm pressing it this time. Do it. Dude, that's crazy that's how fast so that fast. is. <laughs> it looks like CGI. Like It looks like it can't be real. Incredible. And it is totally silent. Okay, so I know this isn't a medical facility, and I know we're, we, you can't scan me, but <laughs> can I get in the machine and see what it's like? Well, sure. Awesome. Yeah, yeah Let's okay, I want to go. I want to go, too. All right. <laughs> Whoa! Hi! It's like being thrust into the future. This is the most expensive carnival ride ever. There you go. Whoa! Ooh, it's got patterns! <laughs> Previously, because you had a small detector, you had to rotate so many times, you could have had good image quality, but you'd lose temporal resolution. Or on the other hand, you could have a fast scan, so you could get that temporal resolution, but your image quality would be poor. So you always so had to sacrifice you something. You had to sacrifice something. Whereas now, because we've got such wide coverage, trying to take a thousand images four times a second, the trade-offs are gone. So you've got image resolution, temporal resolution, and detector coverage all in the same machine. So it's, it's been a real step forward in that sense. So what does this mean for a patient? Right, well this means less time on, on the table, mm -hmm. less radiation dose, their image quality is better, so it might mean the difference between diagnosing something and not.